Not for me! 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 We met with US2's the Academy due to take over um, yesterday and we also met with the council and we had very clear proposals, no redundancies. These redundancies are being caused by the fact that the school has chosen to spend this year 551k and next year 438k on consultancy. No one can tell us or give us a breakdown of what that consultancy is. Plus, UST are going to be charging just over 500k as well, which has forced the school into a huge deficit. Now, based on the deficit and how much it is, which is, we estimate, about 1.1, 1.2 million, if you look at other schools where that's, that's happened in Greenwich, you're looking between 60, 60 support staff and probably about 10 to 15 teachers. UST admitted yesterday they don't understand the school accounts and this is an academy that has been giving the school advice since March this year. It's quite simple, if they stop spending consultancy money they will save redundancies. We're fighting against the redundancies and also for our um, basic sort of terms and conditions, things that you know we, we all think about as being standard things like sick pay, holiday pay and actually with academies often these basic rights are either removed or they're altered. The other thing is USC won't even recognise unions. They will not sign up to a recognition agreement. UST themselves wouldn't agree to any of our proposals, wouldn't even meet us halfway, which is why we're out here again today. The governing body's been disbanded and instead the Regional Schools Commissioner has constituted what's known as an interim executive board, which is a appointed individuals that will govern our school without absolutely any say. So we've lost our parent governors that we elected, we've lost our staff governors. The local authority now has been removed from having any say in a local authority school. It's just unbelievable. We all, all of us, teaching staff and support staff, have the children at the crux of this. It's not political. It's, I'm not striking against children, I'm striking for children because if they take us out of the classrooms, if they make us redundant, if they reschedule or restructure the department, we are not going to be able to do what we do at the moment. As a TA what we do is we go in and support those students in the lessons and I think it's really important that we can continue to stay in the classes because a lot of the time they just need a familiar face for them to just be comfortable in a lesson. A lot of the time all of our students need is just somebody who's just going to spend that extra minute in the lesson itself to just listen to what they might be going through. Even if it is coming away from lessons, they just need us. There's so many times that we'll be going to a lesson and a student will stop us and instead of us just saying no I've got a lesson to go to we do take the time out for two seconds to just stop there's so many times that we'll be in the center trying to take our packs out of the cupboard and like a hundred students come in we don't shut our doors for them students we let them come in and we show them the love that the school has that we know that the kids have and we just want to show that what we do is really important. We're not trying to say that we want anything bigger. We just want you guys to see what we actually do and how hard that we do fight for our kids. I was a TA in the, in the school um, for a few years before becoming a mentor. And, um, and I absolutely love my job. It's a real privilege to, to, ha to have the kind of job that I have. Uh, and I have a lot of very grateful parents coming up to me and saying thanks so much for helping my daughter or son. We feel the school is a will. Life is a will. And to make the wheel go round, you have to put the oil. We are the oil on the wheel. I have worked in cleaning for many years and come from contract cleaning. This is why I came here, to come out of that system where one, two, three, you're out the door. You're only as good as the last day. This is the first place in my whole working life, and I say that with a true heart, that people have actually come up and thanked respected the cleaning team and that means a lot in this school we're not in the basement when UST come in they will try and put us back into the basement what they're going to do is they're going to ask us to do more for less and I don't think that's right I'm not a political person I've never gone on strike 
prior to the start of this. So for me to do this is a huge thing. If it becomes an academy, it's just going to be really, really tragic and nobody wants that. The only reason they're doing it is because of this fantastic site next to this brilliant park, which is worth probably hundreds of millions of pounds over 125 years. That's how long they want to take it for. 125 years. It just doesn't bear thinking about. That's longer, that's longer than universal education has existed in this country. We are now in contact with a number of really vibrant anti-academy campaigns. We're hoping to visit staff and parents at Barclay down in Stevenage who are in a similar position. We've been in contact with Little Green, which is a special school fighting forced academisation. There's also a school up in, um, in Wakefield, uh, Mackey Hill, that are fighting forced academisation. And we're now part of a growing movement. And I think what's happening is we're all realising that this is, cannot carry on. And we are trying to now build uh, you know, a network of parents and staff and community people who are saying we need to take our schools back because these people shouldn't have anything to do with running a public service. You are No more me. Not for me. Not for me.